Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning. It's been a minute since I picked up the camera and vlogged. Let me turn off my air purifier real quick. Boom. I'm not gonna lie, if you don't have an air purifier in your room, make sure you get one, because that joint is super clutch. It's like a mini fan, but it also makes your room like feel fresh and smell good, you know what I mean? But, good morning, YouTube. Today, this video would probably be like a whole weekend vlog, you feel me? We're going to San Antonio to watch the boy Sergio compete. Me and Jaren are driving up there later on in the day today. I'm finna get ready for the gym, because it's 9.30. I don't usually train around this time, but like I said, since we're going to San Antonio, I get the gym out of the way so we can get on the way to san antonio you feel me it's about like a three to four hour drive so shouldn't be too bad shouldn't be too bad but your boy you gotta get ready for the gym but it's been good i'm gonna update you on the week life has been good life has been real good bro um bro, honestly been chilling bro i have like a morning routine that i pretty much stick to like every single day not even just a morning routine like i have a routine of my days that i've been sticking to and i really like that because it keeps me productive and it keeps me focused and especially the way like things are kind of going right now i love having the structure in my days where i know like okay i'm doing this this, 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 and this, and that's how my day goes along. Some days I'm a little bit more all over the place. I think I have like a little bit of ADHD, bro. Nothing too crazy. I'm just like, I think I, I'm doing like client work and I think it's something else to do. I'm editing and I think it's something else to do. Like my body gets like, I need to move, you know what I mean? Having that walking pad in the crib makes it a lot easier too. Cause like, if I get bored, I just pull out the walking pad and go walk in the walking pad. But yeah, like I said, let me stop babbling. Let me stop chatting. Let me get ready for the gym real quick. And I'll show you how the gym fit after I get ready. All right, one, two, three. Three. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I was going to put on like a flea fit for the gym this morning, but then I started getting dressed and I was like, you know what? I don't give a damn what I wear to the gym today. So honestly, RIP tank, RIP hoodie, gray RIP shorts, and then white RIP socks. Ooh, with the foam runners on feet, bro. Keeping it simple, simple and easy, bro. Anything to get me up and out of the house quick and easy, that's the move. But I'm gonna show y'all breakfast, bro. Breakfast is nothing crazy today. I'm keeping it very simple. Like I said, very simple type of day, bro. Whatever gets me in and out of the house, man. But I shop at Aldi, and they had these like, um, Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, bro. Bro, these joints right here, these joints are super clutch. If you got an air fryer, bro, trust me, pop them in an the air fryer for like two minutes. You don't want them burnt, you feel me? But you want them like, you want them like golden where the, the jelly still stays cold and the peanut butter is like warm. Bro, when I tell you that combo goes crazy, like mwah, chef's kiss, that shit is immaculate, my G. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna do two of them. I'm gonna do two of them today because like I said, it's the first time I'm ever training this early and my body is gonna be like malnourished. So um, yeah, and I didn't get, you know what, I'm gonna do one. Knowing myself, I train better off of less food. So I'm gonna do one in an energy drink and hopefully that gets me booted up the right way, you feel me? I got bench today, nothing too crazy, like a very calm, simple, easy bench day. So taking it nice and easy, knock out this bench session and then we hit the road, man. All right, Jack, I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Like I said to him, put it in the air fryer, make sure it's crispy, but still got that cold aspect to it. Watch, first bite, bussin'. It don't get no better than this, bro. This is like literally my childhood, but like pre-made, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, family, so your boy is back home. Sorry for the noise in the background. That's the air fryer. Jaren's cooking up in the air fryer. We just got back home from the gym, took a nice little shower. Now we're getting ready to head out to San Antonio. I got to make some food, though. So, of course, got to get my frying pans. Um, breakfast or like my post-workout meal has, like, lately been consisting of, like, uh, 
some sort of eggs, egg whites, bacon, and then a carb, uh, a carb source. I might use tortilla wraps today. I might use waffles today. Let's see how I'm feeling. Let's see which one, you know what I'm saying? It's just the easiest, honestly. That's how kind of how I go about it. Or whatever I'm feeling for the day, whatever I'm feeling for the day, that's usually what I pick for my carb sources. Um, today, today I'm feeling tortilla wraps. Yesterday I had some, uh, some uh, waffles. So today, let's do a tortilla wrap. I'm not gonna lie, I am terrible at wrapping a tortilla. I tried to do a tutorial of like a like a burrito on my Instagram story. If you saw that, I'm so sorry. Please, you know what I'm saying, give me some time to learn how to wrap a tortilla, because I'm not the best. I ain't even gonna hold you, I'm not that great. But, I'm gonna try something today. Let's see how this works. All right, family, like I said, I'm making these breakfast burritos, and they're not too bad, like, look at them. They don't look too crazy, you feel me? Like, could the burrito be wrapped a little bit better? Yes, I will admit that, but like, listen, I'm not trying out for Chipotle. I'm not trying to work at Moe's or your mama's quesadilla place, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make some breakfast burritos, so chill on me, bruh. When I posted my breakfast uh, burritos on my uh, Instagram story, y'all was on my head top, like, chill, bruh. I ain't trying to be the next five-star Gordon Ramsay burrito rapper, bro. I'm just trying to get the job done. And trust me, these be getting the job done, you feel me? All right, fam, so it's about time to step, you feel me? Your boy got everything packed up, both my bags and the meals. Listen, bro, if you're ever traveling and you're like, damn, I got to stick to the plan, listen, pack your meals ahead of time. Meal prep the night before, pack your meals the day of, you feel me? Look, bro got the same wave going on, you feel me? Bro, bro, everything's already in the car, bro. Look at that. That's how, oh, this. Look at that. Menace. Bro, dude, to the socks, we're literally wearing the same socks. Yeah, I dude, told you. I thought you were talking about the shoes. I told, I said both. <laughs> oh, that's crazy work, I ain't gonna lie. That's sick crazy work, bro. Bro thought like me today, see, we're connected. Twin ski shit, you know what I mean? But, time to get up out of here. We got a three hour drive, so yeah. Wish us good luck. Bye. <laughs> ooh, all right, fam, so we have made it to, ooh, the light in here. Wow, that was crazy work. We have made it to San Antonio, you feel me? There goes Jaren, the boy who drove us. There goes Sergio, you feel me? You ready, twin? Hey. You ready? I'm ready. You locked in? Me Give me some. Ah. Yeah, he know the deal, he know the deal. So, we've made it, bro, I ain't gonna lie. The drive, drive was a long little drive, I ain't gonna lie, but you already know. Yeah, broski, <laughs> broski handled the whip, you feel me? I was low key sleep, I'm not gonna lie. I took like a, a good hour, hour and a half nap. He says almost two hours, two. almost two hours, I ain't gonna lie, but hey, listen, we made it here safe and sound. I felt good though, bro, I felt good. But I'm not gonna lie, this B&B is crazy work, bro. Serge booked this B&B, and this one's huge. Look at this jump, bro. This joint is huge, bro. Like, bro, look at this jump, bro. This joint is huge. Like, they got two living rooms in this jump, bro. Two living rooms. This joint bigger than my crib back in Houston, bro. And look at the patio work with the treadmill out here, bro. And they get the whole outside of it. I ain't got no socks on, but like, I mean, I got socks on. I'm not got no shoes on, so I ain't finna step outside with uh with no shoes on. You feel me? But this joint is big. I ain't gonna lie. This joint is huge. Let me show y'all the room skis. Yeah, but it's good vibes though. It's good. <laughs> they just be yelling, bro. <laughs> look at this. Look at this freaking evil ass hallway, bro. Like you can't tell me walking down this don't feel a little scary, bro. Like boom. Like that's like a movie pop up scene. But like here's Jaren's bathroom. That's Jaren's room. He's staying in. This room, neither of us are staying in because it just gave off weird vibes. Like this room doesn't make me, this room makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm not fucking with that, yeah. But this is my room, actually, so. Boom, oh yeah, look at the light in here. The light in here is crisp, cream shit. But this is my room, you feel me? Nothing too crazy, very calm, very calm. Subtle, it gives me like, um, I don't know, like, king room master bedroom vibes you feel me but here is my bathroom not crazy my bathroom's kind of dainty i ain't gonna lie like my bathroom feels small but i'm living with it you know what i'm saying i can vibe with it i can dig it you know what i mean but that is literally it right now we're probably just gonna be chilling for a while because we don't got nothing good we don't got nothing going on and until surge wants to go get some food, that's when we'll probably pick up again with this vlog, you feel me? So for now, we chilling, relaxing, you know what I'm saying? Taking some time to eat, relax, get off our feet and chill, you feel me? So I'm about to do exactly that. Do that again, buddy? Do that again? I saw that. Nah, yeah, I, I felt violated. That was, that was mad violating. That was violating. That was weird on his What are you talking about? I saw that. You ain't yeah. safe, man. Yeah, you, no, you ain't safe, man. We'll get some shitty. Shut up. <laughs>
<laughs> but listen, when they tell you, when they tell you the weight is that long, they try to gas it so you like leave, so they don't over. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like 30. Thirty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Trust. Oh, so beat their ass? Yeah. No, you should go back and whoop them. Yeah. Nigga, not doing shit. Put your ass in that car. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we tried to pull up and get some sushi, and um, it was a little, it was a little too long. I ain't gonna lie, that wait was a little too long. And Mr. Maglione, bro, is not waiting right now. If you see the walk, when he's walking like this, he's walking with some intention, bro. Nah, he that like <laughs> <laughs> Hungry now, bro said I need to get, eat, I need to get to eating now. No weights. Yeah, so. 24 hours ago, I was dying. So nah. I need to eat you need to eat. Yeah, you need to eat, bro. Bro, need to recharge, bro. So we gonna we gonna find out where the fuck we eating at. Give me give me one second. Sima. Okay. Sushi and hibachi. All right, bet that sound good. That's, let's let's slide. That's a sushi. It's on the back. <laughs> I didn't see. That. You're so aggressive, I didn't bro. See. Dude, I'm literally looking at. I'm like I'm like. Jesus, where the fuck? I'm like, where the fuck? Where the fuck? Where's the fuck? Where's the sushi? Solid eats, solid eats, gangy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm fucking with it. Yo, I know, bro. Look at this spread. You know that shit had had you crazy work to the game spread, saying, bro. Yo, it started at twenty five dollars an hour. We were like, at least starting at thirty. Ooh. We actually Ooh. fixed my pipes the other day. Ooh. What the hell, bro? Oh, right back with you, nigga. Have me swimming as well. Look at that. Oh shit. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning. When we got back from sushi, we didn't really do anything, honestly. I just got back to my computer, did some client work, and then laid in the bed and watched Love is Blind season six. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty late on watching Love is Blind season six, but I'm loving it. I'm definitely gonna be binging this joint. Right now, I've been binging NCIS Hawaii while I do my work, but I'm definitely tapped into Love is Blind, bro. If you're a Love is Blind, uh, you know what I'm saying, watcher like me, then you know it gets intense in the show, you feel me? Like, it began emotional, you know what I mean? Like, I be feeling for the people, because that's crazy. Like, that is actually real life people going on. Like, that's insane to me, bro. But I think the boys just went to go to Smoothie King. I'm not getting nothing from Smoothie King, because like I said, I packed my food, bro. Make sure y'all pack y'all food when y'all travel, bro. Save you money, and you stay on the plan, bro. I'm thinking. I was thinking ahead, bro. Like, I be doing this, bro. But I'm going to go eat breakfast real quick. Nothing too crazy, but I just eat my PB&J sandwiches that I told you about yesterday and uh relax chill before we go to the gym and then once we go to the gym come back and we go to surgeon's meet man i'm excited i'm excited man today this whole weekend it's gonna be very very chill until we get to the meet once we get to the meet it's business you know what i'm saying i'm locked in even the session today the training session is like a chill session like it's pause squats and pause deads like i may not even record too much of that because like who cares about that you feel me but yeah all right i'll talk to you in a bit all right peace all right family hold on let me pause my music so i'm not like like, uh, distracted. We are at this gym called Heavy Metal Fitness out here in San Antonio. It's a small little gym vibe. If you ever seen like, I don't think if you ever seen any of my TikTok or Instagram videos from 21st, then you will like kind of get the same vibe from this place. Gonna hit a quick squat and deadlift workout. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, the main part of today is literally Sergio's meet. Just here to get a quick set training session in because we gotta stick to the program. We're like six weeks out right now, so we gotta make sure you know what I'm saying we're doing what we gotta do, but making sure we're as efficient and healthy as possible. My hips a little tight right now, which isn't a big deal, but definitely gotta like manage that, you know? Bro is lurking. <laughs> but yeah, definitely gotta manage that. Gonna like make sure I take some good time to warm up under the bar to get my hip right. But it should be a good session. Like I said, not pushing anything too crazy. It's pause squats and pause deadlifts. So a lot of technique work, a lot of secondary work, a lot of execution work, you feel me? Let's get into it. You know it's high price lows, two M's that's on the pedal. This bitch made that bitch jealous. This cup ain't never fellas. My J's ain't match your melon. You know it ain't no telling. Rather go duck a felon. The bank roll tuck for Bellin. Blue out what I'm in Helen. This gas broke out propelling. Back to back like a train. Think twice trying to do relish. Big game like the good fellas. Took our propane propellers. She like go watch go chain. African Cinderella. Mix her in my vanilla. You can find us wherever. Dug in all types of weather. In space looking for better. All right, fam, so the workout is done. Honestly, I might talk to y'all outside where it's not too much noise. Hold on. I don't know why I did this. Let me let me reset and gather up with y'all outside, bro. 
All right, family, so I decided to wait till we got back to the crib to pick up the camera again because there's no point in me filming there or trying to talk to y'all there, like do an outro of the gym portion of this video there because there was a lot of noise and I didn't want to like, you know what I'm saying? Like that would have been too much going on. But we just got home. Gym session was all right. Um, like I said, it was like a secondary session, real calm secondary session. I didn't really want to train. The more I moved my body, the more I got in motion and like in the like into the training session. But I'm not gonna lie, I did not want to train at all. But I'm glad I got it done and dusted. Now we're about to get showered up and get ready to go to Sergio's meet. We literally got to get like gone in like 30 to 20 minutes. So yeah, quick shower, then we up and out the door, bro. I do gotta handle some business, so I'm gonna handle some business real quick and then get ready to get going, all right? Let's go, you ready? Let's go, oh, oh wait, oh. No, I left it in the car, cause I don't, uh, yeah, my, my mic. Ah. Yeah, cause I didn't wanna have to like, it wouldn't fit in my fanny pack. Y'all wouldn't have fit in my fanny pack if I brought the mic in, so I was like, ah, I'm gonna just leave y'all in the, or I'm gonna leave the mic in the whip. But we have made it to the venue, so we're waiting for Serge to compete. He's still like warming up, relaxing. I just talked to the boy, I told him to get off his feet, relax, you know what I'm saying? Don't eat nothing, don't do nothing too crazy that you don't usually do. We're trying to mimic everything that he would do on a training day, we're trying to do today, you feel me? So not doing anything out of the ordinary, sticking to the basics, sticking to the routine, and just locking in, you feel me? But the vibe in here is cool. Um, it's very like heavy metal-esque. Uh, you can definitely tell, you know what I'm saying, these people, they be lifting. They be freaking lifting, you know what I mean? So, should be good vibes, should be lit. I'm excited for the boy. I'm really excited to kind of see how Serge performs today. Should be a really good day, man. Should be a really good day. Let's go see how it goes. All right, family, so Serge has dead, no, not deadlift. He has deadlift left. Like, he has, that's the only lift he has left. He squatted and benched so far. Um, squat went well, squatted 705 and benched like 369, which was crazy work. He was talking about taking bench conservative and he opened up at 347. I was like, bro, if we're opening up at 347, what the heck does a conservative bench look like? But I don't know for 369, which is good. Very good after like him tearing his pec. So coming back from that, like this is his first meet back since he tore his pec. So, you know, like a year and a half or two years since competing. Been a very good meet so far. I've been, I haven't been like, like in camera mode much. Been uh, focusing on like handling him. Me and Mo are handling him. Mo is doing the most of it, honestly. I'm here to like kind of learning from Mo and seeing how like when I handle my lifters and my own meets. Like I got like a lot of lifters competing this summer and this year. So I'm learning how to like handle lifters in different situations, what they may need, what they may not need. Like I know for me and Serge, we're very like hands off to the point where like we just need like the handler to load the bar and that's it. But sometimes, especially with like my my lifters being like more so beginners, and a lot of my lifters this is their first meet. It's like tell like walking them through it, making sure they like they're not stressed out or worried about anything, but going to execute the lift. So yeah, just wanted to give y'all a little update on what the day is looking like because I haven't talked to y'all in a minute. So um yeah, honestly we're chilling. Bro got deadlift left. Probably watch him deadlift. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm hungry, bro. So definitely get some eats later on, but it's okay. We're, we're thriving and surviving. We gotta wait for bro to hit these deadlifts. And this meat kind of is going a little slow, you know what I mean? It's WRPF, the Federation is WRPF, and they're not like USAPL where it's like kind of like faster pace, but it's all right, it's all right. It's not too bad. Oh, all right, y'all, so we just left the meat. Jared wanna hold the camera. Yeah, okay. Hi, Jay. All right, but yeah, we just left the meet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so hungry, bro. I have less than like sub a thousand calories in me right now. So yeah, your boy needs to eat. Right now, we're waiting for Sergio, Mo, and Sophia. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The late list said 110 minutes, but I know these type of places, bro. They be lying, they're gassing. It's not 110 minutes. So if we're not here at the same spot, then just know they were not lying. I'm not, I'm not gonna hold you. Did you sit him a 20? She wasn't jacking it. <laughs> She wasn't going for it, bro. She said, nah, I gotta stick to the protocols, bro. I said, you the manager? And she was like, yeah, I'm the manager. I was like, so what happens if I give you this 20? You like, we straight? And she said, no. I was like, no, that's sick work. That's sick work. She didn't want the money for real. She wasn't about her bread I for real. Show her the bread. I was yeah, like, yo, was I got the bread, bread right here. She wasn't about her bread for real. Some people are go getters. Some, women some, yeah, some, some people are go getters. Some people are like, ah, nah. I'm lazy. I'm sitting back. Shit. I'm lazy. I'm fat shit. <laughs> Boycotting this place. Okay. Boycotting this <laughs> Bro, I told y'all, these people be lying. Bro, look at that. We're almost ready. I told y'all. Bro, listen. Whenever they give you a uh, estimated wait time that's uh, ridiculous, just just know, like, yo, they're trying to trick me. They don't want me to eat here, but not eating here. Huh? 
Are you saying first? Yeah. Yo, they be up in here lit, bro. <laughs> say to y'all bro they be lying to y'all when they tell y'all they like the wait time is dummy i think we waited like max 10 to 15 minutes i ain't gonna hold you like i'm telling you bro they be lying but i lost my voice i have no voice left i'm gonna enjoy this meal with the homies i'm gonna catch up with y'all later all right good morning youtube family good morning good morning Sunday it's Easter Sunday so you know I had to get back home in time to get to church on Easter Sunday bro I'm not gonna lie last night when we were driving back home Jaron drove and I fell asleep and it felt like I blinked and we got home bro like I we left uh, San Antonio around like 1230 and then I woke up at one point we were talking for a bit of the drive for like the first 20 to 30 minutes I fell asleep I blinked and then it was like 30 minutes left in the drive I blinked again Five minutes, I blinked again, and then we were home, bro. So shout out to Jaren, because he's the freaking GOAT for getting us home safe and sound it's late at night. I think we got home at like 3.43 or 3.23 a.m., which is dope, blessed. But now I'm on the way to church on this Easter Sunday, bro. Really going to take today to like try to like set myself up for a successful week, you know what I mean? Go to church, enjoy this Easter Sunday service, get back home, do my chores, you know what I mean? Like I already started some laundry, I already put away some laundry that I started on Friday before I left for San Antonio. Feel good, man. I asked Serge to see if he could get my meal prep out the fridge in San Antonio and bring it with him so I could pick it up from him later because, like, that's, like, two whole meals I left in San Antonio. And, bro, that's two whole meals, bro. Like, I need that. You know what I mean? But, like I said, we're on the way to church, so I'll pick up with y'all after we get out of church. All right, fam? What is going on, family? So, like I said, we're back from church, and now I'm getting on with, like, my Sunday routine. I haven't done this on a Sunday in a minute, usually because I'm always at Adri's place, but I'm gonna start taking Sundays to like do some things around the house. Like right now, I got my like my laundry going in the dryer. I got my sheets, my towels, things like that drying right now. Cooking up some chicken, you feel me? Having the air fryer, bro. Having an air fryer is slow clutch because it makes like meal prep super easy. I already got a bunch of jasmine rice in the fridge and Sergio is bringing my meals from San Antonio, so I got some more food. So I like to take Sunday to make sure I prep all as much food as I can for the week. So during the week, I'm not really having to scramble and cook food. Sunday is more of like a reset day, a comeback day, you know what I'm saying, relax. Do what I need to do to make sure I set myself up for a successful week, do a lot of client work and some editing. So that's what I'm gonna do later. I'm gonna go over to Adri's, hang out with her a little bit later because I know she's been missing me. Of course I miss my lady too, but I wanna show her some attention, show her some love, spend some time with my lady. And we haven't watched Criminal Minds in a minute. And we're on an episode that I'm like so intrigued by. So we're gonna go watch that a little bit later. I'm gonna take you all over there. I'll probably close the video out later tonight over at her place. Right now, like I said, I'm just chilling, doing my meal prep, taking care of my laundry, making sure I got like a really good groove going into this week, man. So I'll catch up with y'all in a bit, all right? All right, family, like I said, I ended up at AG's apartment. So we're now here. And she made like a, a nice little ham. I think she got, you got some Walmart? Yeah, she got this little ham at Walmart. This is nice and cute, you feel me? And then we got the Hawaiian rolls. Now me personally, ham, Hawaiian rolls, that's literally all you need for a good bust down meal. She would chose to use the water right now when I'm filming this clip, it's okay. It's okay. But, like I said, yeah, so, so we got some good eats, some good quick bust down eats. I have not ate much today. All I had was literally protein cereal, so some cereal mixed with milk and protein. So good bust down eats, bro. Your boy needs it. Not much really going on, to be honest. I'm probably going to catch up with y'all in a bit later. I'm going to close the video out later right now. I'm going to just chill, relax, spend some time with her, eat some food, do some client work, edit this video. I got to post on TikTok in like a couple of minutes. It shouldn't take too long to edit. But yeah, I'll catch up with y'all in a bit later, man. All right, family, so it's the next day. Today is Monday. I just got to the gym, but I'm gonna close the video out here because I ain't really gonna show y'all today's bench session because there's nothing. I've already got like two workouts in here. Y'all don't need to see another bench session, bro, but appreciate y'all for tuning in. Much love to y'all, bro. Always appreciate the love and support. Your boy got six weeks until we step on the platform, bro. Six weeks. We really gotta lock in, make shit work, and get to the business, you feel me? So I'll talk to you on the next one. Stay care, fam. Peace.